everything I need here, so I'm just going to empty out the, the stuff so I can start uh, working on the bug box. So here's my JD Asian kit. There's more from the JD Asian kit. Here's my fan. Here's my power supply. These are my vents. These are my, this is an F-16 expansion, another F-16 expansion, an F-16 controller card, more JDation hardware. This is my surge protector for my, uh, for my Cat5 connections. I got two ethernet glands. I got two right-handed ethernet cables, some spades, fuses, ribbon cable, bus bar, fuse box, more spades. Here's the gland. Let's see, this is PG29 glands. I got six of those, some 12 gauge wire, more fuses that I'm not going to use, and a little bit more hardware. All right, so the bud box. All right, so we're going to we're gonna make a mess of this. So the first step I like to do is I like drilling the holes. So I got my PG-29 gland to find the right tool. So I need a hole this big and I got this bore drill bit. See that? That is just perfect. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put them. And you also have to consider that you got this outer ring, right? So it has to fit with that outer ring. And it needs to be able to spin. And so I'm doing one, two, and then one off to the side. So it'd be one, two, three, one, two, three, and then the, the big bud box in the middle. And I just want to make sure I get maximum clearance for everything I need. So right about here. So I marked it with a Sharpie. Start drilling. put it in place not not tight just enough to I'm still all about that would be good take the pin now and having nice sturdy controller that's well organized helps that okay got the pilot hole G29 glands. Alright, I, I gotta fit the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, they should fit fine. Now you notice I don't mark them all at once because. Um, Just barely. Maybe. Here we go. Just do a one off double check. Yes, that's what I want. And we are through. See that? Fits in there nice and neat. So the IPV115s versus 
This guy, this is the big one, this is the IPV116. And these are the 115s. And so these are not going to have any fans with them. Um, they're just going to allow air to pass through. Okay. Now, let's see. And so these are going to go on either side on the top. So, see, so I want it over here. And then I want it high enough up that I can spin it. So, I want it as far up as possible because I want the airflow to either come in, I want the airflow to come in, get drawn down, and then blown out the bottom. That way it passes over the boards, passes over the power supplies. And I kind of want it in the middle so that it hits both levels. All right. And then I also want the option that someday I could make it spin if I wanted to. So I want to keep enough room up here so that it can spin. So, Of my nine scientific measuring distance is about three quarters of an inch. And so I just move this about three quarters of an inch. Okay, now I have this drill bit. Match it up. Yep. And this one is two and a half inch. So my big one was three and a half inches. This one, I believe, is an inch and a half. The orange one is an inch and a half. It goes in like this. And then the ring goes on the inside. Now the other side. Texas it gets pretty hot um, you know it can be we can have you know I've, I've had 90 degree weather in late October you know so I, especially I see people making these super watertight you know air, airtight boxes and then they uh, they don't put any ventilation in it's like wow well, you know they're those are electronics so now I can put this on this guy will spin Then these guys back in. So I need two more holes. I need holes for the Ethernet glands. And I'm going to stick them right here. So they'll sit right in there. The hole, just a slight smidge bigger. Right about here. So two clean holes. Once you have them in, you typically don't take them in and out. Once you're done with that. That's good. Okay. And you also. Okay. So once you got most of it, but you want to get the rest of it clean, you can get this universal dust cleaner slime. Hold it up there so you can see. I just take it and I roll it around. I'm going to do the inside too. And uh, what this does is it gets all the last little pieces off. And you definitely want it cleaned up on the inside. Well, a lot on the inside. Because, you know, this is where your electronics are going to go. And you really don't want any of these shavings getting into a Phoenix connector or getting in the way of something important. I get this all nice and clean. 
last few pieces that are on the wood. And now we can uh, get some of these guys for real. Okay, so I think that's good for now because um, I don't want to do the fan next, so I need these guys open so I can spin the uh, the nut for the fan. But yeah, we're coming right along here. <laughs> 